Hi there, Gary here from Longsons, and I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this uh, detached three bedroom bungalow we have situated uh, right at the end uh, in a cul de sac of a cul de sac uh, location in the popular market town of Watton in Norfolk. Okay, so there's the bungalow there right in front of you. It's in a, it's on a corner plot as you're going to see. It, um, it could do with a bit of modernisation, as you will also see as we're looking around. Um, the property comes with a garage. There's a driveway there, providing uh, plenty of off-road parking. So I'll just show the property location. As I mentioned, it's right in the corner of a cul-de-sac. It's on Charles Avenue. And that's... Uh, just on the outskirts, or just heading out of Watton, but uh, it's still not too far from the town centre either. So, back looking at the front garden, we've got front garden laid to lawn, got established shrubs and plants, sand flowers, so beds and borders. As you see, there's a path to the front door, got gated access to the, uh, well, it's a side garden, but there is also a small rear garden. We'll have a look at both of them towards the end of the video. And there's an outside light as well, I can see up there. So, that's the property outside front. Let's head on in through the front door, into the entrance porch. So there's a smaller UPVC entrance porch, just to shake off those raindrops and hang the coat on a, on a wetter day. And then as we head in, we've got this, uh, well, it's quite a spacious, Hall. certainly gives the bungalow a spacious feel so a good size hall with doors off to the various rooms so we're going to take the first room on our right and head into the lounge so it's a good size lounge there's this feature stonework fireplace which has been uh, temporarily blocked off but I'm sure if somebody wanted to add a uh, log burner or similar it uh, wouldn't take too much to get it open back out again and uh, put back into use if required. So there's French doors which open out to the side garden and then we've got large window to the front and another window to the rear so there's lots of natural lights coming in here and then uh, while we're at this end of the bungalow, I think it makes sense to go through the bedrooms as well. So we'll start, we've got our first bedroom, double bedroom, window to the front, and there's a built-in wardrobe. Second bedroom, not a bad sized bedroom. Again, built-in wardrobe window to the side. Actually we'll call that bedroom three. I think that's the smaller of the three bedrooms it is. So we're now in bedroom two. Another built-in wardrobe. Window to the rear this time. And then we have bathroom with the bath. So there's a shower curtain. There's a mixer tap. And sh hand shower attachments, wash basin, WC, and obscure glass windows to the rear. And now we're going to wander through to the kitchen stroke breakfast room. So we've got fitted kitchen units, wall and floor, breakfast bar. There's a sink unit, mixer tap, space there for gas or electric oven with the extractor hood over. Window looking out to the side garden. Yeah, there's also two built-in cupboards. This one houses the hot water cylinder. This one houses the gas central heating boiler. So if I haven't mentioned it already, as I'm sure you've uh, just guessed, we do have gas central heating throughout and UPVC double glazing. So off of the kitchen, there's another entrance door which takes us out to this um, 
side conservatory stroke utility. So there's a space and plumbing here for a washing machine. And there's an outside tap as well. Well, there's a tap because we're not outside yet. And then we've got, uh, so it's all UPVC double glazed conservatory. And then we've got the entrance door. So this is the small rear garden. So it's laid to shingle. There's an entrance door there to the, uh, providing access to the garage and wooden shed tucked away in the corner. And then as we head through, there's uh, just, there's a lobby here, side lobby or rear lobby with an entrance door, takes you out to the rear garden and very useful. We've got a WC and a hand wash basin. So there are two WCs in the property. And then we've got, uh, we we'll call it a garden room. We've got the solid roof, the UPVC double glazed windows to the rear and the side. There is a wall mounted gas heater there. I have noticed that has been disconnected, so that's not working at the moment. So that's the property interior. We're now heading out the uh, entrance door into the enclosed, well this is the side garden, I mean, it feels more like a rear garden, but it is the technically side garden. So we've got paved patio seating area. There's a path to the gate, providing access back out to the front. And then the remainder of the garden is laid to lawn. It's a good selection of established shrubs to beds and borders. There's a wooden shed, small wooden shed, tucked away in the corner there. So it's uh, not a bad sized garden. Okay, so that was a brief video tour of this uh, detached three bedroom bungalow, which um, yeah, could do with some modernisation, but I'm sure you'll agree, it certainly offers plenty of potential situated on a corner plot, uh, on a cul-de-sac in the popular market town of Watton in Norfolk. Thank you for watching.